Hello, everybody. Welcome to Action PC Football. This is RJL518 about to present to you the championship game of the 2017 College Football National Championships. Well, so far, I'm two for two. Georgia 55, Oklahoma 42, Alabama 28, Clemson 20 are the scores of the first two games are presented for the Sugar Bowl and the Rose Bowl. And actually, Georgia and Alabama did win the actual game. So can I go free three for three? I guess we're about to find out as 2017 Alabama will play 2017 Georgia for the national championship. I've selected the Georgia Dome because the Mercedes-Benz Superdome is not uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, Superdome is not set up here for it, but it isn't a dome because that's where the game is played. No home field advantage. It's a beautiful day and it's not too bad in January, but inside the temperature, it's going to be about 70 degrees. I'm going to play both. The computer will play both defenses, and I will play the offenses of both these games. So we had an exciting two games the first time. Let's see how it goes as for an all-SEC national championship between the Tide and the Dogs. Georgia's won the toss. They will defer to the second half. Alabama will receive, and let's get things going underway here at the at the Mercedes-Benz Georgia Dome, Alabama versus Georgia. As you can take a look at the field for the national championships. So it's going to be Alabama receiving the kickoff from the Bulldogs here for the 2018 national championship. This should be, I think this should be a lot of fun. Alabama will off the return. And the ball game is underway. Na 2017 national championship. And Blankenship kicks it off, and Ruggs takes up the two, but not much room. He gets Illinois stopped. Block. Receiving team. And automatically a block, an illegal block, and it'll be first down for the Tide. So the Alabama Crimson Tide will take over at their own seven-yard line to start the se se series off here against Georgia. Let's take a look at the... Well, first, let's see what we're going to do here at Alabama. Let's call a play first. How about a three wide receiver? How about a double tight end? Let's give it to Scarborough. He's going to get the start here. Let's see what happens. How about a trap? Here's a handoff to Bo Scarborough. And it looks like he gets a gain of three. He's tackled by Bellamy at the 10. Let's have a look at the starting lineup for the Alabama Crimson Tide. There's Bo Scarborough, who had a pretty good game against the Clemson in his last showing. The quarterback, of course, Jalen Hurts. Starting wide receiver Calvin Ridley on one side, Cam Sims on the other, and you've you got Irv Smith Jr., another halfback, and your line features Jonah Williams, Ross Piercebacher, Bradley Bozeman, Lester Cotton, and Matt Womack. It'll be second down and seven for the Tide at their own 10. Two wide receivers. And I think we're going to go to Scarborough again. And here it is. The handoff to Scarborough. Scarborough picks up a couple yards. Tripped up by Bellamy at the 14. It'll be a four-yard gain for Bama. And they're looking at third and three. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for defense for Georgia. We have Jonathan Ledbetter had a good game against, Clem against uh, Oklahoma. John Atkins. Tyler Clark. Aaron Davis. DeAndre Baker. There's Roquan Smith, Davin De De Bellamy, Malcolm Parrish, J.R. Reed, and Dominic Sanders. Third down and three for Bama. I think we're going to see if we can get a pass play. Back to throw is Hurts. Looking, 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 throws. And he dumps it to Ridley at the 23. It's complete. He's got the first down. Baker with the stop, a gain of nine. So Bama gets the first first down of the game here. And they'll take first and ten. Three wide receivers, two running backs. They got Scarborough. Handoff to Scarborough up the middle. And he's tackled by Sanders, the 25, a gain of two. And it'll be second down and eight for the Tide. Second down and eight. I think we're going to go three wide receiver and running back. And I think we're going to give Josh Jacobs a shot here. Off tackle right. Here's the handoff. Hertz gives it to him. Jacobs got some running room. He's got a lot of running room right through the line. Off tackle to the right. And Davis tackles him the 42, a 17-yard gain. We know that Nick Saban's want to definitely try to utilize the running game for Bama against this stout Georgia defense. But it is first down for the Tide at the 42. 
Three wide receiver, two running back. Damian Harris. Handoff to Harris up the middle. He gets some yardage. And it's a nice dive play. He's tackled by Parrish at the 49. A gain of seven. So a first, so a second down and three at the 49 as Bama is starting off the game with a, with a nice little drive here. Second down and three. Three wide receiver run running back. How about a play to Calvin Ridley, a hitch pattern inside. Back to throw. Hurts. Looking, 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 looking. Throws. Nope, he runs with it. He's got it. He's going. He's going. Just gets tackled at the six. He slides down at the six. I thought he got that pass off, but he took off and ran with it. A gain of 45 for Bama to the Georgia six. So Bama goes into the Georgia red zone for the first time. And let's see what they do here. It'll be first and goal. Two wide receiver, two running back. Josh Jacobs. And there's an audible. And I think they're going to try. They're just going to call the original call. Handoff. He gets some yardage. Maybe a couple. And Ledbetter tackles him at the two. A four-yard gain for Georgia, for Alabama. Now at the two-yard line. The Georgia defense after giving up a huge running play to Jalen Hurts, now finds himself on their heels. Second and goal, three wide receiver, double tight end, one running back. How about to Najee Harris? Dive play, handoff. Does he get in? Yes, he does. Harris on the dive play. Score it. It's a touchdown for Bama. The previous play is under review. And Upon further review, the runner was stopped short of the end zone. Wow. Stopped short of the end zone. Third down. Thought he had it in there, but he's on the goal line. And I think in this case, he give it to Hertz up the middle. Here's the handoff. Hertz. And I think he gets in there. Yeah, he'll take it himself. Touchdown, Hertz. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And this time, it is not reviewed. So, Alabama on the scoreboard first. Extra point sails through the uprights, and with 9.09 in the first quarter, Alabama takes a 7-0 lead on Georgia. What a drive for the Crimson Tide to start this off. The kickoff goes into the end zone, they take, and they're going to down it one yard deep, and that means Georgia will take it at their own 20. So first down and 10 for the Bulldogs, after allowing a big drive by Alabama in this college football national championship game. It is first down and 10. First down and 10 for Georgia at their own 20. Let's see what, we're gonna, let's see what they're going to do here. It looks like Chubb, Nick Chubb, is going to be the guy. And we'll give him an off tackle. Here's the handoff from the Chubb. And Nick Chubb is tackled by Mosley at the 23. A gain of three yards for the Bulldogs. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Bulldogs. There's your boy, Nick Chubb, at running back. Quarterback is Jake Fromm. I kept on calling him Nick Fromm last week. I have no idea why. Uh, Miko Hardman at one wide receiver. Terry Godwin. Javon Wims. Isaac Nuada at tight end. Andrew Thomas. Solomon Kindley. Lamont Galliard. Kendall Baker. And Isaiah Wynn are your linemen. Second down and seven. Two wide receiver, two running back. Terry Godwin going to take a chance. Fromm backs the throw. Looking, looking, looking. Throws. He checks down to Chubb at the 23. It's complete. He's spun down by Averett. It's a gain of three. It'll be third down and four. Take a look at the starting defense for Alabama. How about we start with the line? How about Isaiah Bugs, Deron Payne. Raquan Davis, Anthony Averett, Levi Wallace, Anthony Jennings, Rashawn Evans, Jamie Mosley, Minka Fitzpatrick, Ronnie Harrison, and Hootie Jones as your, start, as your defense there for the Tide. It's third down and four. How about play action? Short cross to Godwin. Back to throw is from. Looking, looking. The pass is caught by Godwin with the catch at the 36. He's hit and stopped by Jones at the 42. It's a 16-yard gain. <laughs> 16-yard gain. I actually had it a little bit too loud on the headset, people. So first down and 10 for Georgia at their own 42. 
And now we'll see what Fromm has in mind. Three wide receiver running back. How about Sony Michelle? What a game he had against Oklahoma. Off tackle left. Handoff. Michelle gets some running room. Gets some more running room. Breaks through the line. He's tackled by Evans at the 46. It is a gain of 12. First down for the Bulldogs. Staying with three wide receiver run running back. Sony Michelle. Dive play. And Alabama looks confused. And the Crimson Tide are going to call timeout. So they'll take their first timeout of the half. 634, left first quarter. Sony Michelle, I'm going to try the play again. This time off tackle left. Hand off. Michelle has the ball. And he gains about three. Tackled by Mosley at the 43. And it'll be about second and holding offense. Ten yard penalty. And an old, and an offensive holding call on Kindley will move the ball backwards. So the Bulldogs moving a bit back. And now they'll have it at their own 44, first and 20. Three wide receiver, two running back. Play uh nope, shotgun. And we're gonna tr we're gonna think Godwin's the guy. Medium slant. Here's the play. Back to throw is from. Back to throw. Back to throw. And it's medium slant. It's caught by Godwin, the 38. Brown with the tackle, a gain of 18. They got not only more of that penalty back, they got an extra eight yards. Second down and two with the Alabama 38. Let's see here. Let's go. Three wide receiver running back and give it to Michelle. Dive play up the middle. From hands off. And Michelle gets nothing. Tackled by Evans at the 38. No gain. Third down and two. So is this a passing situation or do you give the ball off? Let's see what we do here. How about, let's go three wide receiver running back, shotgun, and I think we got to try to get it to Wims. Javon Wims is the call and a short cross. Pass it, that comes from, from looking, throws. Not much, throws to Wims at the 26. It's complete and Averett with the tackle, a gain of 15. That's a first down for the Bulldogs. So just like Alabama moved the ball against Georgia, Georgia now moving the ball against Alabama. It is first down and 10 at the Bama 23. They're going to go three wide receiver running back. Sony Michelle off tackle left. Here's the handoff. Michelle gets some yardage, gets some yardage. And it looks like he's going to be tackled. Davis with the stop at the 16, a gain of seven. Second down and three, now in the Alabama red zone. Uh, let's see here. How about switching to trips? Well, we'll see. Let's go to three wide receiver running back. And how about Ho Jeremiah Holloman, a short hitch. Back to throw is from. The passes, the passes. It's a short button hook to Holloman. The sits is complete. Nailed by Diggs. Jennings with the stop. And Jennings stripped the ball out. It's an Alabama ball and a fumble, but the replay booth is reviewing the play. And down by contact, so Georgia keeps the ball. What a play that was. But it is first down for the Bulldogs at the nine. What a play. Just got down by contact. Three wide receiver, running back. Handoff to Michelle, up the middle. Tries to get some yardage. He's through the line. He has room to run to the five. Touchdown, Georgia. So just like the Tide moved the ball on the Dogs, the Dogs moved the ball on the Tide. Extra point through the uprights. And we've got 319 left in the first. And a tie ball game between Bama and Georgia for the national championship. Looks like the ball went into the end zone. And they're going to try to bring it back. Here comes the return by Alabama. He should have a good, should be pretty decent. And taken by Ruggs a yard deep. He's tackled by Carter at the 21. So by not downing it, they gained a yard. But hey, every little bit helps, doesn't it? Here comes Jalen Hurts and the Alabama offense. First and 10. Three wide receiver running back. I think Damian Harris is the guy. Handoff to Damian Harris. He's got some yardage. Got some yardage through the line. Carter pulls him down at the 32. A first down, a gain of 11. So another big 11-yard gain for Alabama. So far, both defenses having problems stopping either offense. It is first and 10. Two wide receiver, two running back. Josh Jacobs. Handoff to Jacobs. 
And it looks like he gets no gain. He's tripped up by Smith at the 32. Not much there. It's finally Georgia's defense finally makes a big stop. It'll be second down and 10. Uh, four wide. Let's now three wide receive three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, trips left and a short out to Harris. Here's the here's the play by Hate Hurts. Hurts looking, 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 and Hurts is running. He's tackled by Smith at the 33. A gain of one. So third down and nine now for Georgia. Uh, actually for Alabama at the 33. Let's see. Four wide receiver, shotgun. And I think Ridley's the guy, medium slant. Here's the play. Back to throw is Hurts. Hurts looking. Throws. He fires into a tight window to Ridley, but covered by Baker. The pass is incomplete. So Bama's going to be forced to punt this ball away. Here's the punt. Going near the sideline, and it will go, rolls out of bounds, the 22. So George will take over there. And first down for Jake Fromm and the Bulldogs. Let's see. Three wide receiver and running back. Sony Michelle seems to be the guy. How about off tackle left? Hand off to Michelle. Michelle has running room. He's got a lot of running room and gets way past the line. He's tackled by Mosley at the 46, a gain of 24. First down, Georgia. Nice game by Sony Michelle. Got to keep on doing it. I think you keep on feeding him the ball. Three wide receiver running back. We're going to go trips left, and we're going to look at Javon Wims, a short cross. Back to throw is Fromm. Looking, looking. It's a short cross to Wims, the 43. It's complete. Evans brings him down. First down, gain of 11. And I think we're going to, I think that's going to be the end of the quarter. And it is. We got a game. One quarter in the books here at the College Football National Championship. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll be right back. The second quarter of today's College Football National Championship is about to be played. Alabama and Georgia tied at 7. Uh, it's already been, uh, I, I don't know, I guess I would always wanted to be myself personally a uh, announcer, but I guess I, I guess maybe I just didn't have the knack, huh? First down and 10 for Georgia at the Alabama 43. Let's see what we get here. Let's see. Wide running back. Uh, two running backs. Let's have maybe Christian Payne. Handoff. Payne gets the ball. And it looks like he's going to get some yards. And more. And more. And more. Christian Payne. Jennings spins him down at the 24. A gain of 19 on the play. First down, Bulldogs. Georgia has a pretty good attack going on here right now between the bunch. So let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. Stay in two wide receiver, two running back. How about Sony Michelle up the middle? Handoff. Michelle with the ball. And Wallace with the tackle to 21, a gain of three. You got to keep the Alabama. Holding. Oh, Offense. and a flag. Penalty. Holding on Kindley. And that moves the ball back to the Alabama 34. And now it'll be first and 20. Uh, three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, Ridley, Riley Ridley. How about a medium slant? Back to throw is Fromm. And Fromm, ooh, got crushed. He's stripped by Harrison, however, but Fromm pounces on it. But Georgia keeps the ball. It's a loss of nine. It'll be second and 29 now after that big sack. We'll go four wide receiver. We'll go shotgun, and they're going to look for Riley Ridley, medium hitch. Here's the play. Fromm, back to throw, throws, and it's incomplete. Harrison was all over him. Ridley wants a flag. They ain't going to get it. I don't think they're going to get it. No. Nope. Third down and 29 at the Alabama 43 still. They'll go four wide receiver and a tight end. Uh, we're going to see Miko Hardman on a long hitch. Back to throw is Fromm. Looking, 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 throws. And Brown steps in front of Hardman and bats it away. It's incomplete. So Alabama comes up with the comes up with a very with a uh, good defensive stand after Georgia got down there. And then they got then they got pushed backwards. Fourth and twenty nine. Georgia's I think is going to punt this ball, and they'll punt it to the sideline, and it will go in the end zone. Touchback coming up. The tide will take over at their own twenty. 
First down and 10. Here comes Jalen Hurts. Three running back, three wide receiver running back. Damian Harris. Here's the handoff. Harris gets the ball, and he's going to get some yardage. And more yardage. And more yardage. Harris gets all the way down. Reed brings him down at the 44, a gain of 36. Already Alabama, 132 yards on the ground. And it's first down at the Georgia 44. Two wide receiver, two running back. Cam Sims, a short slant. Back to throw is Hurts. Hurts gets crushed. Sacked by Walker, a loss of five. Trying to keep the Georgia defense honest, but they get him. It'll be second down and 15. Three wide receiver, one running back. And they're going to go trips right, and they're going to look for Calvin Ridley. Medium cross. Back to throw is Hurts. Looking, throws, and he throws it underneath to Foster right through his hands. Incomplete. Third down and 15 for Bama. We'll go four wide receiver, shotgun, and we're going to see Rid Calvin Ridley on a hitch. Back to throw is Hurts. He's looking, throws, and incomplete. Too high. Tie coverage by Baker. Ridley wants a flag. He ain't going to get it. So fourth down and 15. So both teams stall. And now Bama will have to punt the ball. And with the ball of the Georgia 49, they'll sideline it. And it will go not bad. Let's see where it winds up at. It's a punt of 38 yards. Georgia takes over at the 11. First down. Here comes, here comes Jake Fromm. Three wide receiver. One running back. Sony Michelle. Off tackle left. Here's the handoff. Michelle. Driven driven down by Harrison at the 12. Uh, maybe got a yard, and that's pretty much it. Maybe got a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Three wide receiver running back. Play action. Short out to Simmons. Here's the play. From back to throw. Fakes the handoff. And it's a short side blind pass to Simmons, but it just drops into the out of bounds incomplete. It'll be third down and nine. Four wide receiver, shotgun. And I think we're going to see Riley Ridley get the ball here on a medium cross. Back to throw is from. Back to throw. Back to throw. Throw Fall. He throws to Hardman at the 20. It's complete, but he's tackled just short. It's only an eight-yard gain. And Georgia's going to be forced to punt this one out. Here's the punt. The return. And it marks from the 35, but McGee takes the gets him down there. It's a return Off of four sides. and Offense. a punt of 45. Penalty. And an offsides penalty will move the ball back to the 39. First down and 10 for the Tide at their own 39. Here comes Jalen Hurts once again. Two wide receiver, two running back, Josh Jacobs. Here's the handoff. Jacobs with the with the handoff. Here it comes right up the middle. Bellamy brings him down at the 45. Again, a six. Second down and four. Staying with the two wide receiver, two running back. They're going to see Damian Harris. Here's the handoff to Damian Harris. Can he get it? He's tackled by Davis, the 49, a gain of four. And he does get the first down. First down and ten for the Tide. Three wide receiver, one running back. I think they'll see Hale Henkins maybe a chance here, a hitch. Back to throw is Hurts, and the pass is... And he, it's, it's, Hertz, it's short curl to Henkins, the 41. Parrish just tackles him by the ankle, and he knocks the ball out. There's a big fight for the ball. Upon further review, the runner was down by contact. And Alabama will keep possession on that call. So Alabama gets it. It's a first down at the Georgia 38. Looked like a fumble to me, but he's down by contact, first and 10. Double tight end, one running back. The handoff to Najee Harris. And Harris, gain of four on the play. Smith tackled him at the 34. It'll be second down and six. Three wide receiver, three wide receiver, two running back. Maybe something a little different here. How about a quick pitch? Here's the handoff. Trip picture Harris. Harris with the ball. And Ledbetter with the tackle. The 34. No gain. Georgia 
makes a reads that completely well. It'll be third down and six. Three wide receiver, one running back. Cam Sims is going to get the call, but they're going to do a play act. They're going to do shotgun. Actually, going to do pistol. Do pistol and try to get a short out. Here's the play. Audible showing blitz. And we're going to try a screen to Jacobs. Here's the play. Hurts gets it and gives and blitz. Jacobs sweeps right. He's tackled by Ledbetter at the 31, a gain of three. It'll bring up fourth down and three to Georgia 31. A field goal here is 53%. Uh, tight call here, fourth and three, almost in the no man's land. You are playing for a championship, and yet you do want to get the points. They're going to 53%. Uh, this will be a 48-yard attempt. I think you're going to, I think you're going to, I'm going to go for this. Fourth down and three, double tight end run running back, uh, Calvin Ridley. And I'm going to see if I can get the pass out to him. Here's, here's the play. Hurts back to throw. Looking, looking, looking. He's got time. Throws. It's a short outside pass to Ridley. Drilled by Baker right through his hands. Georgia will take over at their own 31. On the turnover on downs. I guess he got, I think you got to take chances in a championship game here. First down and 10. Jake Fromm with the ball. Sony Michelle. Left tackle. Here's the handoff to Michelle. And Mosley brings him down to 35, a gain of four. It'll be second down and six. Three wide receiver will running back. Shotgun. Going back to standard plays. A medium out, and they get it to Holloman. Back to throw is Fromm. Fromm looking. He's got time. Time. He throws. And he overthrew him. That's incomplete. Third down and six. After two big drives to start the game, both offenses are now sputtered. But third down and six, four wide receiver, shotgun. Terry Godwin going to get my call. Medium cross, back to throw. He's looking for Godwin. He's looking. He throws, and he dumps it off. He, thr he throws to Michelle at the 33. He's got daylight, tackled by Brown at the 44. It is a first down for the Bulldogs. First and 10, Christian Payne, handoff. Give it to Payne, see if he can get some yardage. And it's a gain of six, and Michelle appears to have been hurt on the play. He's jogging off. He should be back in a little bit. It'll be second down and four at midfield. Three wide receiver running back. I'm going to see Javon Wims here. Short hitch, back to throw, is from. And it's caught by Wims at the 39. Averett drills him, but it is a 12-yard gain. First down, Georgia. First and 10. Two wide receiver, two running back. Nick Chubb, who's been, looks like he got came in the game a little tired. Here's the play, and it looks like a Georgia audible, a 3-3 nickel, showing blitz. They're going to try a short quick to Godwin. Back to throw, looking, looking. And Davis bats it down incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs at the Alabama 38. Three wide receiver, two running back. Shotgun. How about a special play? Let's try a, let's try, no, let's go back to standard. We're going to try trap right. Give it off to Chubb. Handoff. Chubb up the middle. Can he get some yardage? Yes, he does. He gets a good amount of yardage. Brown missed him. Room for Chubb. He's hit by Harrison Diggs with the stop at the 27. That is a first down for the Bulldogs. First and 10 at the Alabama 27. Two wide receiver, two running back. I formation. DeAndre Swift. Give him a shot here. Here's the handoff. Swift gets nothing. Tackled by Mosley at the 27. Nothing there for the Bulldogs. Second down and 10. Three wide receiver, two running back. Looking for a kill Crump Crumpton. Try a short slant. Back to throw is Fromm. He's looking, he's looking. It's intercepted by Harrison at the 10. Bulls forward, tackled the 15, a return of five yards. Just when it looked like Georgia was about to get some points, the Alabama defense makes a huge interception, and it is Harrison with the pick. They will take over on their own 15 with 227 left in the half. Two wide receivers, two running backs. Josh Jacobs. Handoff by Hertz to Jacobs. 
Jacobs got some running room. He's across the line, and he's got more. He's past the 25 and the 30. Walker with the tackle, 31, a gain of 16. And it looks like Sanders is hurt on the play, and it looks like he's not going to be back. First down and 10. Three wide receivers, one running back. Shotgun. Short flat. Nope, I got a better idea on that. Let's try, let's try Ridley. Medium cross. Back to throw is Hurts. Hurts. Crushed. Sacked by Smith. A loss of seven. Hurts was shaken up, but he'll be okay. And it will be second down and 17 as the Georgia defense makes a big sack. Clock running. They got two timeouts left. They're going to try to hurry it up. Medium fly. Get it to Foster. Back to throw is Hurts. He's looking. Hurts is going to take off, and he's going to get nothing. Tackled by Thompson at 25, a gain of one. Third down and 16, and a timeout taken by the Bulldogs as they know they might just get some pretty good field position here to end the half. Third down and 16, four wide receivers, shotgun, and you got to go long here. So they're going to try to get it to Cam Sims, and it will be a long slant. Back to throw is Hurts. He's looking for time. He throws. Long slam. Sims dives just out of reach and complete. It'll be 4th and 16, so the interception doesn't hurt Georgia, and Alabama will have to punt with 132 left. Here's the kick. Angles it towards the sideline. That's taken, and a fair catch, signal for by Hardman. He makes the catch at 29, a punt of 46 Offense, yards. Five-yard penalty. And a eligible man down, an ineligible man downfield on Persh Barker. Going to move the ball to the Georgia 29. First and 10. 127 left. Georgia with two timeouts. I think you got a little bit, um, I think you have to be, let's see, a little bit, um, a little bit aggressive here. Nicole Hardman, shot out. Back to throw is from. Looking, looking, throws. Deflected by Fitzpatrick. It'll go incomplete. Second down and 10. Now I think after that first play, now you probably just want to get into the half. Uh, let's see, three down here, handoff to Chubb, maybe off tackle left. Here's the handoff to Nick Chubb. Chubb's got some yardage room. He's got more than yardage room. And Lewis tackles him to 41, a first down, a gain of 12. Georgia will call the timeout. One timeout left. Since they did get the first down, I think you take another chance, another, another try here. Four wide receiver, shotgun. And I think you try a long cross to Godwin. Back to throw is from. He's looking, looking, throws deep downfield. He's got it. He's got it. What a play. Godwin is an opening. Wide open. It was complete. He goes all the way. It's a touchdown for Terry Godwin. Georgia jumps out in front. That had to have been blown coverage on Alabama. Extra point is through. What a way to end the half for Bulldogs, and what a way for the half to end for the Tide. And the Bulldogs take a 14-7 lead with, a, with just a little bit of a second left under a minute. They'll have to do the kickoff. It's returned. Let's see what Alabama winds up with. And it's Ruggs from the three, spun down by Webb at the 29, a return of 26. Holding, receiving team, 10-yard penalty. And I think now if you're Alabama, you got 52 seconds left. You got two of your timeouts left, but you already, you got to be a little bit careful. But let's see what they can do here. Three wide receiver and running back, Damian Harris. Here's the handoff to Harris. Harris has got some running room. He's got a lot of running room. He's got the first down. He's brought down by Parrish, the 38. A gain of 28 on the play. Alabama calls timeout, stopping the clock with 39 seconds left. They're at their own 38, and they got one timeout left to try to maybe get a, some points. Three wide receiver, two running back, shotgun, and I think we're going to go medium fly to Foster. Back to throw is Hurts. Hurts is not thrown very well, and Georgia with good coverage downfield. Hurts threw it away. Second down and 10. Jalen Hurts is just not throwing the ball well. They only got 22 yards passing, 182 yards rushing. It'll be second down and 10. We'll go back to double tight end, running back, and Najee Harris. 
a trap. Here's the play. Hand off to Harris. And Harris Atkins tackles him to 38. No gain. It'll be third down and 10. They hurry up. And we'll see Calvin Ridley on a long slant. Back to throw his hurts. Looking, looking, looking. And he dumps it to Sims. Tipped by Baker. Incomplete. And that is the end of the half. So it looks like right now Georgia's leading, and we're at the half. It's 14 to 7. We'll be right back with the with the third quarter. Georgia will make the second half choice to start off the third quarter. Of course, they will receive. So you not only got the late touchdown in the half, now you get the ball back. Georgia 14, Alabama 7, college football national championship. Alabama with the kickoff. Here comes the return. Let's see what we get. And it's Stanley at the 2. McMillan pushes him down at the 27. A return at 25. So that's where the Bulldogs will take over. First down and 10. Two wide receiver. They're going to give Andre Swift a shot here. A sweep left. A handoff to Andre Swift. Swift's going to get himself some a few yards. Jennings with the stop at the 33. A six-yard gain for Georgia to start off the half. Second down and four. Three wide receiver, one running back, and you got to give it to Chubb. Here's the handoff to Chubb. Chubb smacked. Jennings brings him down at the 34, a gain of one. It'll be third and three for Georgia. Three wide receiver, running back. Play action. Short cross. Get it to Wims. Here's the play. Play action. And it's a short he leaps, but he can't come up with it. Incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down and three, so Alabama... Gets out of the, comes out with a nice defensive stop, and the Bulldogs will punt. Here comes Cameron Nazeliak with the punt. And should it return, fair catch or let it roll. And I think they're going to go ahead and fair catch it. And it's going to be caught at about the 20. So a punt of 46 yards. Bama will take over at the 20 All yard sides. line. Defense, five yard penalty. And an offsides call. And an offsides call on Alabama gives Georgia the first down. How do you do that, Alabama? Wow. A huge offsides call. And Georgia gets the ball back at their own 39 after the punt. First down and 10. Christian Payne's going to get a call. How about off tackle left? Payne gets. Payne is brought. Payne is given the pain. As Payne brings him down at the 38, it's a loss of one. Second down, 11 for the Bulldogs. They'll go three wide receiver, one running back, and they're going to go trips right. And I think Wims will be the man to go here. Medium out. Back to throw is Fromm. He's got some time. He throws, and, and he drills a pass to Wims at the 45. It's complete and pushed out of bounds at the 43. Averett gets the tackle again at 19. That is a first down for the Bulldogs. Pretty balanced attack by Georgia by Georgia here. 105 yards rushing and 177 yards passing. Looking at Alabama, 182 yards running, but only 22 yards passing. It's first down and 10 at the Alabama 43 for Georgia. Three wide receiver, one running back, Nick Chubb. Off tackle right. Here's the handoff to Chubb. And Chubb. Diggs tackles him at the 42, a gain of one. It'll be second down and about nine. They'll go three wide receiver to running back, and they're going to do motion, and they will do a short flat, get it out to Swift. Here's the play. Back to throw, and Fromm is going to take off with it, and he cuts past the 40. It's Averett with the tackle, the 37, a gain of five. Third down and four at the Bama 37. Pretty makeable. Uh, three wide receiver, one running back. I think Wims is going to be the guy to go to here. They'll go shotgun and give it to Wims on maybe a short slant. Here's the play. Back to throw. Oh, wow. Fumble. Harrison strips the ball out of Fromm's hands, but Fromm came away with it. But it's a loss of five on the play. So Alabama's defense stiffens up. It'll be fourth down and nine. I think uh, George will be more than happy to punt this ball toward the sideline. Here's the punt, and it will go out of bounds. 
It's out at the four. It's a 38-yard punt, so Bama starts deep in their own territory. And they'll take over there. 10.07 left to play third quarter. Let's see what Alabama wants to do. Three wide receiver and running back. Give it to Damian Harris. Hand off to Harris to try to get some yardage, a little breathing room. He cuts through the line. He's tackled by LeCount at the nine, a five-yard gain. Second down and five for Bama at their own nine. Double tight end, one running back, staying in I formation, giving it to Najee Harris. Here's the handoff. Harris gets through the line, and he's going to get some more. He gets a second level. He's tackled by Baker at the 19, a gain of 10. That'll be a first down for the Tide. So Alabama can run, but they can't throw. Two wide receiver, two running back. Josh Jacobs will get the call here. How about a pitch left? Here's the play. Handoff. And boy, did he get stuffed there. Smith on the stop at the 12, a loss of seven. Georgia ran that perfectly. Second down and 17. So Alabama's got to go into a, set, into a passing situation. Medium fly, get it to Foster. Here's the play. Hurts looking. Hurts looking. And it's a medium fly to Foster. He juggled it and can't hold on. It'll be third and 17. They'll go five wide receiver, shotgun. And they're gonna look for they're gonna look for Robert Foster. And they're gonna look for a medium slant. Here's the play. Hurts back to throw. Here's the play. He steps up and fires to Foster at the 24. It's complete, but it's only a gain of 13 as McGay brings him down. It'll be fourth down and four. And the bat and the tide will have to punt the ball. Here comes J.K. Scott. And it's a Pretty decent-sized punt, taking about the 30, and it's fair caught there by Hardman. First down, Georgia, at their own 30-yard line. Up 14-7. to We got 7-11 left to play in the third quarter. Three wide receivers, one running back. Nick Chubb, here's the handoff. Got to give it to Chubb. Chubb needs to get some yardage. And that he's got. And he's got a little bit more than just that. He's tackled by Harrison at the 47. A gain of 17. Alabama is just having some good, some difficult time starting these two, stopping these two running backs. First down at the Georgia 47. We'll go three wide receiver, one running back. Tyler Simmons on a short hitch. Back to throw is Fromm. Looking, looking, throws. He can't find a receiver. He tried to dump it to Wims, but it's incomplete. Second down and 10. Second down and 10. They'll go three wide receiver, two running back. Riley Ridley on another short hitch play. Back to throw is Fromm. Here's the play, and it's dumped to Swift. It's incomplete path, and Fromm had his bell rung. He'll return in about five plays. It'll be third down and about 10. At the Georgia 47. They'll go four wide receivers. Now you got Eason in there now, I believe. You got Eason now on third down and 10. I think you want to be careful with a new quarterback. So they'll go three wide receiver running back and hand it to Chubb. And they're going to try an off tackle right. Here's the play. Hand off to Nick Chubb. And Chubb gets t across the 50 tackled by Bugs at the 49. It's a gain of four. George more than happy to punt the ball away. Here comes Cameron Nizilek. Here's the punt. It's a deep one. And into the end zone it goes. Alabama gets the ball at their own 20. First and 10. Down by 7. Three wide receiver running back. Damian Harris. Here's the handoff to Harris. Harris tried to get some running room, and he gets that. He's tackled by Baker at the 29, a gain of 9. Damian Harris already has 100 yards on the ground today. So it'll be second down and one. Maybe Alabama should just stick with the running attack since Georgia really can't stop the run. Josh Jacobs. Here's the handoff to Jacobs. Can he get the first down? Yes, he does, and more. Jacobs on the dive play. Tackled at the 38 by Walker. That's another nine-yard gain and a first down for Bama. Going back, double tight end run, running back. Najee Harris now. And they're going to low off tackle left. Here's the handoff to Najee Harris. Harris has got yardage and a whole bunch of yardage with daylight across the 50, 40, but tackled by Bellamy at the 37, a gain of 25. So Alabama visits Georgia territory after three big gains. 
First down and 10. Might as well stick with the stick with the guy that got you the prom. Hand off to Josh Jacobs. And it looks like we got a fumble. And covered up by Bellamy, Georgia Ball. A huge Alabama turnover. Alabama driving on the ground, but fumbled away. And Georgia gets it at their own 35. The Georgia defense comes up huge on a big turnover. First down and 10 for Georgia. Fromm back in the lineup. And Sony Michelle back on the field. The handoff to Michelle. Michelle doesn't get much. He's tackled by Jennings at the 37. A gain of two. And that will be second down and eight. Three wide receiver running back. Shotgun. How about a... No, 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 no. How about getting it to Javon Wims on a cross pattern? Nickel showing blitz. Nickel showing blitz. A long fly to Wims. Here's the play. Fromm back to throw. Fromm takes off with the ball. He's got yardage. He's got first down. Carter with the tackle at the 48. A gain of 11 by Jake Fromm. First down Bulldogs at their own 48. As Fromm takes it for a, for, for a big score. First and 10. Two running backs, two wide receivers. Terry Godwin. On a cross, back to throw, looking, looking, throws. Averett jumps in front of him and knocks it down. That's incomplete. It'll be second down and 10. Double tight end, one running back. Nick Chubb. How about a dive play up the middle? Hand off to Chubb, and he doesn't get much. Evans brings him down at the midfield, a gain of two. And looks like Kindley was hurt on the play, and he's not going to be back. And that will bring up third down and eight at midfield for Georgia. Four wide receiver, shotgun, hard count, and let's go medium cross and try to get that to Hardman. Back to throw is from looking, 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 throws. Medium cross to Hardman at the 36, complete! Whipped down by Brown at the 32, a gain of 18, first down Bulldogs. Now at Alabama 32, first and 10, the Alabama defense. Being, being called out here, Sony Michelle. Here's the handoff to Michelle, a dive play up the middle, and he'll get three yards. Mosley with the tackle, the 29, a three-yard gain, second and seven at the Alabama 29. Three wide receiver, two running back. They're going to try a trips right and do a short out, and they're going to try to get it to Crumpton. Here's the play by Fromm. Fromm looking, looking, throws. Fromm dumps it off to Ridley at the 23. It's complete. Pushed out by Evans. It's a six-yard game. It'll be third down and one. It'll be third down and one. And let's see what Georgia wants to do. Double tight end. How about two running backs? And I think you give it to I think you give it to the guy that got you there. Hand off to Chubb. Does Chubb get there? Yes! Frazier with the stop at the 21. It's a first down. Gain of two. And the clock is running, and Georgia is going to let this clock go away. We are at the, we got three quarters in the books, and one more left in the game, and the championship, and the 2017 NCAA season. 14 to 7, Georgia. The final quarter is coming up. One quarter left to play in the season of NCAA. Hey, that rhymes. Georgia leads Alabama 14-7. to They're on the Alabama 21 with a first down and 10. The way the Georgia defense has been holding back Alabama, this could be a huge drive if Georgia can get in the end zone. First and 10. Let's see what we do here. How about three wide receiver running back and give it to Chubb. Off tackle left. The handoff to Nick Chubb. And Chubb is going to get a gain of four. Tackled by Payne at the 17. It'll be second down at about six. They go three wide receiver, two running back. They do trips right, shotgun, and a short out, and they're going to get it to Ridley. Back to throw is Fromm. Fromm looking for a man, and it's a short out to Ridley. It's complete. Stoned by Harrison, but a gain of 11 to the Alabama six, first and goal. First down and goal, three, two wide receiver, two running back. Christian Payne, off tackle left. And someone jumped. Defense. 
And it's an encroachment penalty on the tide. Brings the ball back to the three. Double tight end, two running backs. Sony Michelle, trap right. The handoff. Michelle, no problem. Touchdown, Georgia. Sony Michelle just brings it right into the end zone, and Georgia now takes a, co a commanding two touchdown lead. Extra point, good, and it's 21 to 7. What do you do now if you're Bama? Down 21 to 7. Running the ball really is not, now you really know you got to pass. Here comes the kickoff from Georgia, and they're going to down it. And, take, and Alabama will take the ball at their own 20. First down and 10 for Jalen Hurts. Can you Do you have to get away from your play calling, or can you try something, or do you have to go desperation time with 13.41 left to play? Two running backs, two wide receivers. They'll hand it off to Josh Jacobs. And Jacobs, a dive play brought down by Ledbetter at the 22, a gain of two, second down and eight. I think he got I think he gotta be throwing three wide receiver, one running back, shotgun, short hitch to Foster. Back to throw is Hertz. Hertz looking, looking, throws. He dumps it to Jacobs. Smith leaps in just out of reach. And that's incomplete. It'll be third down. Third down and eight. Four wide receiver. I think he gotta go to Cam Sims on a medium cross. Here's the play. Back to throw. Back to throw. And good penetration by Georgia, dropped by Bellamy. Hertz gets sacked, a loss of four. Fourth down and 12, you got a punt. The punt will be done by J.K. Scott. And he punts it close to the sideline. And it gets nothing there. It rolls dead at the 37, a punt of 45 yards. So Georgia will have the ball at their own 37 with 12 left to play. Up 21-7 to on Bama. First down and 10, three wide receiver, two running back. Let's see DeAndre Swift to dive up the middle. Hand off to Swift, and Davis brings him down at the 39. A gain of two. About second down and eight coming up. It'll stay two wide receiver, two running back, and Terry Godwin, a short out. Back to throw is Fromm. Fromm looking, looking, throws. Shoved out by Fitzpatrick. Complete to Godwin at the 49. He gets the first down and a gain of 10. That's 100 yards for Godwin, and the Georgia is up to their own 49. First and 10, three running back, one, three wide receiver running back. Off tackle right to Sony Michelle. Michelle tried to get a few yards, and he gets a gain of six. He's brought down by Diggs at the 45. And second down and four. Georgia knows it can probably run a little bit of clock here. Second down. Three wide receiver running back. Going to stick with Sony Michelle. How about an off tackle left? Here's the handoff. Michelle tries to get outside. He does. He gets through the line. He's tripped up by Davis at 36. A first down again a nine. And Jennings is limping off, but he'll be back in about a play. But that's a Georgia first down at the Alabama 36. I think a touchdown here pretty much ices it. First and 10, Georgia. Three wide receiver running back. Hand it off to the man Chubb. Nick Chubb gets tries to get outside, and Harrison gets the stop of the 32. It's a gain of four for Chubb. Second down and six at the Alabama 32. Mm, three wide receiver running back, and I think they'll go pistol, and I think you're going to try to get a, a short cross to Javon Wims. Back to throw is from. He's looking. He's looking. Complete to, to a short cross to Wims of the 20. Whipped down by Averett. First down, a 12-yard gain for Georgia. Georgia now in the red zone at the Alabama 20. First down and 10. Two wide receiver, two running back. We'll go three wide receiver to running back, and we're going to go hand it off to DeAndre Swift up the middle. DeAndre Swift gets the ball, and he's going to get some yards. He's going to get a few yards. He's going to get more than yards. He's got room to run. He's tackled by Jones at the seven. It's a gain of 13 for Georgia. On the Alabama seven. First and goal. Three wide receiver running back. Keep on giving it to the guy who brought you to the prom. Hand off to Sony Michelle. And this time he gets stuffed. 
a one-yard loss brought down by Jones. Second down and goal. With a 21-7 leave into the field goal here by Georgia, put, makes it a three-score game will make it very difficult for Alabama to get back into this. Three wide receiver when running back. I think they're going to try. I think they'll stick eye formation and try a dive play to Michelle. Handoff to Sony Michelle. Gets the ball. Gets nothing. Mosley pulls him down at the eight. No gain. It's third down and goal. Let's see what we do here. How about three wide receiver, two running back, play action. And try to get it to Riley Ritley on a sh short slant. Here's the play. False start, false start on Georgia. Repeat, third and that's actually a pretty big false start. And that moves the ball back to the Alabama 13 on third down and goal. Three wide receiver, two running back. Shotgun, Chubb, and I think they're going to hand it off to off tackle right. Here's the play. Hand off to Chubb. Chubb tries to get some yards. It's a delayed handoff. Digs the tackle at the 11. It's a gain of two. And I think Georgia was just going to be satisfied with a field goal attempt. Fourth and goal. Georgia will try a field goal. 99% chance to make it. Here comes Rodrigo Blankenship. Kick is up. And it's good. And that is a huge, huge field goal. 6.50 left to play, and Georgia up 24-7 to on Alabama. Here comes the kickoff attempt, and they're going to down it three yards deep, so Bama takes the ball at their own 20. 6.50 left to play, and Nick Saban on the sideline has pretty much already sees the writing on the wall. The four wide receiver, shotgun, and they got to get some big chunks of yardage. Hurts back to throw, looking for Ridley. He has good protection. It's a medium fly to Ridley. It's tipped away by Davis. The pass is incomplete. Georgia's defense has been incredible in the passing game. It'll be second down and 10. Cam Sims will get the call. Medium out. Back to throw is Hurts. Hurts will have to take off with it. And he's tackled by Smith of the 23, a gain of three. It'll be third down and seven. They'll go five wide receiver. Try to get it to Sims. Shotgun. Quarterback must pass. They'll try a medium hitch. Hurts back to throw. Looking, looking. Throws, throws. Medium hitch. Incomplete. Trying for Sims. Tight coverage by Davis. Fourth down and seven. You're down 24 to seven. And you got to go for this. I, you you, you got to do something. If you're Alabama, five wide receiver, they're going to try it. Shotgun, quarterback must take off. The quarterback must pass. They're going to try to get it to Robert Foster on a crossing pattern. Here's the handoff. Here's the play. Back to throw is Hurts. He's looking. He's looking. And he fades back. He fires to Foster. Incomplete. Georgia takes over on downs at the Alabama 23. And fans here in Atlanta, and, and the Georgia fans here in Atlanta are already going crazy. 5.48 left. Double tight end, one running back. The handoff to Nick Chubb. Chubb is tackled by Davis, the 18, a gain of five. And they're going to go ahead and slow it down a bit. It'll be second down and five. Staying with Going three running back, one wide receiver, Nick Chubb again. They'll give it an off-tackle right. Here's the handoff to Chubb. Can Chubb get it there? It's across the 15. Bug spins him down at the 14. It's a gain of four, and it'll be third down and one. Third and one, and I think we're going to do a triple tight end and hand it off to Sony Michelle up the middle. Here's the handoff to Michelle. Michelle's got the first down. He's got the touchdown. Touchdown, Georgia. Michelle on a dive play, just trying to get the first down and goes right through the defense. Here comes the extra point. It's good, and that pretty much will do it. It's been, actually, the game's been over for a while. Georgia 31, Alabama 7. Georgia will go ahead and do the kickoff. Here comes the return by Alabama. Alabama looking for something good here. 
And it's Ruggs at the 4. He's brought down by Walker at the 35, a return of 31 yards. And it'll be first down for Bama at their own 35. But down 31-7 to with 3.52 left, there's not much really you can do here. I'm going to let the CPU call the play. Back to throw is Hurts. He's looking. He's looking. And it's caught by Sims at the 48, tackled by Davis at the 48, a gain of 17. And it will be first down and 10 for Alabama at the Georgia 48. And a rare completion that Sims has had. Back to throw is Hurts. Hurts looking. Hurts looking. Throwing deep. He's got a man. Long crossing pass to Foster. Touchdown, Alabama. Alabama kicks the extra point. And just like that, it's 31 to 14. But with 248 left to play. And they're going to watch the onside kick. Here it comes. And here comes the return. Not much there. Hardman gets tackled by Averett at the 15, a return of 7. So it's 31 to 14 as Alabama makes a very quick score. But Georgia now pretty much can just run clock. Hand off to Nick Chubb. And Chubb's going to get a few yards, tackled by Evans at the 19, a gain of four. And they'll slow the play down, and they'll slow the clock down, second down and six. Three wide receiver and running back. They'll stick with Chubb, off tackle left. Here's the handoff to Chubb. Chubb gets some yardage. Davis pulls him down at the 24, a gain of five. It'll be third down and one. Three wide receiver, two running back. And it looks like they're going to de take DeAndre Swift up the middle. Here's the handoff to Swift. Swift gets the first down and more. Swift with room to run. Fitzpatrick on the stop at the 37, 13 yards. First down, Georgia. Alabama knowing they're right now beginning to celebrate in, in Athens. Three wide receiver running back. Give it to Sony Michelle. Here's the dive play. Michelle gets a few yard, gets some yardage. Ray with the stop at the 41, a gain of four. Three seconds left. No play. Ball game. The Georgia Bulldogs are the champions of college football over beating Alabama 31 to 14. Let's have a look at the box score. Jalen Hurts. 5 of 17 for 100 yards, sacked three times, and a touchdown. Unbelievable, and only really because I had the computer call a play, and he gets the touchdown, but I tried my best with Hurts, and I couldn't get anything with him. Damian Harris, 100 yards, 100 yards rushing. Jacob said 52 yards rushing. Bo Scarborough, who went out with an injury earlier, just didn't really factor into the game. Not much in receiving for Alabama at all. Foster with 61 yards. He had the long one for the for the touchdown. Georgia just totally dominated. From 16 to 27 for 234 yards. We had one interception, but he had a touchdown only sacked twice. But look at the running game. Michelle, 97 yards. Chubb, 81 yards. Swift, 34. They just knew how to run the ball. Terry Godwin, 103 yards. Uh, in the air, and he had a touchdown. There were a, and let's have a look. Let's go even further down, shall we? Here, let's have a look here. There were some. Let's see here. Averett had eight tackles on defense for Alabama, and it was Smith with seven tackles. Smith, Bellamy, and Walker had three had a sack each. Georgia had 27 first downs. Alabama had 15. There were two fumbles by Georgia. Alabama had one. Both teams had one turnover, so the turnover margin was even. Alabama did have three drop passes. Georgia had none. Uh, just, just Alabama just really was completely outplayed by the Bulldogs in this game. Well, everyone, that's it here from the from the Mercedes Benz soup from the Mercedes Benz Dome here in Atlanta as Georgia beats Alabama 31 to 14. They are the champions of college football. If all of you people did watch this whole thing, please give me a like. And if you and if anyone has any questions about maybe me playing a season, I'm a Dolphins fan down here in South Florida. I know a glutton for punishment, but I'm thinking of take playing the 1984 Miami Dolphins season with action. So if anybody here would like to watch that done, hey, 
let me know in the comments. Everyone, thanks very much for watching this, and uh, I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Georgia 31, Alabama 14, the Georgia Bulldogs, 2017 national champions.